All right, what's going on YouTube? So you've been following the NCAA March Madness Basketball and right now we're in the Sweet 16 and in a few days, the Elite Eight is going to start. All right, so you see them play with this bright ass orange basketball and you're wondering to yourself, is this basketball worth it? What does it feel like? You know, what's the price point on that? Should you buy it? And today we're going to find out. All right, let's go. Right here, this guy. Let's talk about the price for the price on this one is $9.99.95, so 100 bucks. Pretty expensive compared to you know the other one, like 70 80 dollars. A couple years ago, you could get the Wilson NCAA game ball for like 70 to 80 dollars, right? Or if it's go on sale, you can get for like 50. But this ball now is like 100 bucks, so price point. Expensive. Let's talk about the feel of the ball. This ball, it's on the softer side, but it wouldn't feel the same as the Wilson Evolution. The Wilson Evolution feel more softer to touch. The, the texture on this one, I would say, is a little bit rougher than Wilson Evolution. Uh, and compared to this one, they, they both have very similar soft touch. Um, and the, the texture is very similar, just the color is very different. It's, this one is bright orange. Uh, the other one kind of reddish, burgundy-ish color. So the biggest difference between this ball and the old one is the weight. This one is one of the lightest basketball out there. Uh, even the regular Evo NXT is even lighter than, than the uh, NCAA game ball, all right? Uh, this one have a little bit more weight. I'm not sure why but it is the same basketball. With lighter weight, it's really good for the shooter. If you like to shoot from deep three, this ball is really good for you. Effortless. You don't need to put too much power to, into it. Just get used to the ball, and when you shoot from three, it's just easy. But for the big man, I think you're going to have issue. Pay attention when you watch March Madness. All the big men, most of the big men will have a hard time like neither from a short range or even on the layup, they overpower the ball. You got to remember, during the regular season, a lot of schools have different type of basketball at home. But when it comes to March Madness, that's what they have to use, right? So I don't know how much time they adjust to this ball or get used to it. And I know there's a lot of big men have issue. All right. And the next thing, let's talk about durability. Uh, I have this ball since the first release, so a few years now. So far, it hold up well. I don't see a bad sign of tear and wear. You know, just a little scratch here and there, but you know, you can expect it from the basketball after you have it for a few years. But so far, it hold up good. You know, I, I would say durability is, is better than Wilson Evolution. The bounce also pretty good too because the ball is lighter, so when, when you're dribbling the ball, you don't have to put too much effort into it. As long as you have the right amount of air, like 8 PSI, that's what they recommend on this ball between 6 to 8 PSI. So, you know, it depends on uh, how you like your ball. If you like it bouncy, put it into 8 PSI. If you don't like too bouncy, stay with 7. Because right now on the ball, it say put the air pressure between 6 to 8 PSI. So if you like it normal, then stay at 7. If you like a little bit more bouncy, stay with 8. But I think in the NCAA, uh, they put 8 PSI in it. But yeah, overall, it, it's, I would say it's a good ball. So should you buy it? I mean, depend. If you have money, buy it because it's $100 pretty expensive. And you got to keep in mind, this ball, is, it doesn't feel the same as the Wilson Evolution. Uh, if you like, you know, that soft, like smooth, punchy feel like the Evolution, then this ball might feel a little bit funky to you and also right away if you never play with this ball before you're gonna feel like it's so light in hand and when you shoot you feel it the ball is light so that's the only you know main concern or or what you have to keep in mind the lightness of it is the biggest noticeable uh, with this ball and then also you know for the international player who like to use molten 
this ball is not going to feel like the molten GG7X or even the, the newest model uh, BG4500, all right? It's completely different feel. So if you guys are going to buy it, make sure you get the official game ball, right? There's a replica version of this and it's not the same, all right? Make sure you get the, the legit official game ball. Um, but yeah, that's that. I'm only make this a quick uh, review. I, I already did a full extended review uh, on my channel on this ball. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, go check it out. And if you want to buy it, make sure you check out my Amazon affiliate link down below. And you guys have any question, let me know in the comment below. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. All right. Peace. Yeah.